Yo YouTube, GK's back with a new series called Movie Talk, and today's focus is Tom Holland's role in Uncharted, a video game live action adaptation. But first, we need to discuss backstories. Tom Holland is Spider-Man, has been for a while, and has had multiple solo movies to show his stuff. And to me, he has showed he's a great Spider-Boy. He's the best Spider-Boy. But he is not Spider-Man. Yet. And I don't want to wait any longer to see Spider-Man, frankly. He's good. But after his new deal with the MCU, which the news dropped today that he's back in, your favorite YouTuber will probably cover it, so I won't cover it here. I hope Sony can make a real Spider-Man movie with or without Tom Holland. It makes no difference to me. I'll give him one more chance. I like the whole coming of age story as much as the next person, but it's over. It's time to move on a little bit and grow. And let's get um, Spider-Man to not be so dumb. In the latest movie, he plays a straight up sucker. Jake Gyllenhaal tricks him. I know that's his power and all, but seriously? Some of that stuff was just for kids. In the Moon movie, it's just my opinion that he plays a spider boy. I love his take on Spider-Boy, truly, but in the next film he needs to show me that he can be a real, true Spider-Man. The second backstory we kinda need to set up is that we need to understand that Uncharted is a video game franchise made by an historic company, Naughty Dog. They make only AAA titles and put heart and soul into all they do and it really, really shows. What's Uncharted? It's kinda like Tomb Raider meets Indiana Jones, but with a great narrative focus. I understand that the video game genre into movies is very hard to break into. Video game worlds, their heroes, don't cross over into other video game worlds. It's not like they do in comics where you can have Spider-Man with the X-Men. That doesn't exist in video game worlds. And I think that kind of scares directors away at the big grandiose idea of a huge cinematic universe like Marvel did. It seems nobody wants to work on a standalone franchise with its own stare, uh, narrative focus and its own storytelling. But I'm going to cover all of that in this video. I just wanted to set up those two things to give new uh, people uh, an idea of what we're going to be talking about and what has already happened. and. Uh, returning people a little bit of a refresher on uh, what's going on and my take on it. Uh, we'll stick to mostly facts in this next segment or part two here in that we're going to cover uh, an abundance a lot if not most of the news regarding Uncharted. I'm going to give a little bit of my opinions here and there and make a little bit of suggestions and tell you what gets me really excited for the Uncharted movie and what has me extremely afraid. And here we go from MovieWeb, where I got the inspiration for this video. Tom Holland's Uncharted movie just lost another director at Sony by Ryan Scott, August 22nd, 2019. The long in the works Uncharted movie has faced yet another setback as director Dan Trachenberg has left the project. Trachenberg, known best for his work on 10 Cloverfield Lane, boarded the video game adaptation back in January. And IGN gives us a great recap on what has kind of happened so far. Trachenberg is left. Who else worked on this movie, you might wonder? It was originally in the works from director David O. Russell with Mark Wahlberg attached to the star as Nathan Drake. So glad that didn't happen. Russell left the project in 2011 and was replaced by director Neil Berger. Who has dropped out in 2012? Director Seth Gordon was brought into the project in 2014 with rumors that Chris Pratt would replace Wahlberg as Nathan Drake. Gordon left the project in 2015. In 2016, director Sean Levy was announced as the new director of Uncharted, with Tom Holland announced as the young Nathan Drake. The Uncharted movie was now a prequel set before the game series. Levy stepped down in 2018, and Trachenberg was announced as the new director in January 2019. And as we know, Trachenberg has stepped down. There's a lot here, so let's unpack it. The real thing that's the cause for concern for me is the Uncharted movie now is a prequel set before the game series. I'm going to show a little bit more context to what they mean because Uncharted has been in development for the better part of a decade, honestly, and that's a really long time. Of course, good art takes a long time to make. 
but the Uncharted movie is still moving forward and will now be the first film in Sony PlayStation Productions. This was the most exciting news I heard. Sony PlayStation Productions, a whole production studio dedicated to adapting Sony um, and PlayStation games to the big screen. That's the best news so far, but Uncharted has to hit um, as the first um, send-off franchise for this new production company. I love the idea. It, it has so many IPs, but why set it as a prequel? I'm not sure. Is it because Spider Boy might be returning as Nathan Boy? Well, here's some pictures to kind of give you an idea. And while I admit Tom Holland looks great as a young Nathan Drake, I don't want a young Nathan Drake movie. And I'm going to show you some quotes here by um, directors who had conversations with Tom Holland and an interview with Tom Holland that kind of um, show off this whole prequel idea and who Tom Holland uh, wants in the movie. Then, uh, rather than copying what the games have done and mm. it seems like people have been really excited about it. I know I am and uh, I'm excited to have some further conversations about it. Anyone you're hoping to see cast is Sully? I think Jake Gyllenhaal could be really cool, but I actually went to see, uh, I went to the Jurassic World film set the other day to visit my friend who's directing it, and Chris Pratt is on that film, yep. who I've ve become very good friends with over Final the last Avenger. few months, and I think he would be a great Sully, ah, okay. you know, if, yeah, I think it could be cool, because if I, if I, if it was an older movie, I would say that Chris should play Nathan, mm -hmm. um, but I think he'd be a cool Sully. And I love working with Chris, so if I could work with Chris and all, that'd be great. As you heard, Chris Pratt. Now, I don't know if you like Chris Pratt, but I personally don't necessarily think he's a great actor, or the movies that he's in are really good um, in terms of him being that main leading guy. So I'm really glad that he's not attached to um, older Nathan. Um, however, Tom Holland seems to be his best friend, and, and, and here's the clip, or here's what he said. I actually went to the Jurassic World film set the other day to visit my friend who's directing it, and Chris Pratt is on that film, and I think he would be a great Sully. If it was an older movie, I'd say that Chris should play Nathan, but I think he would be a cool Sully. He goes on to speak a little bit more about how he would love to work with Chris Pratt. Um, I don't want to see a movie in which you work with your friends. Um, Chris Pratt would not make a great Sully because he doesn't give me the Sully vibe. I don't know how else to say this. Um, I don't know why you love Chris Pratt so much. It's cool that you're friends. I'm not knocking that, but do you really need to work with your friends in these movies? That's not what this is about. And this is what I was kind of saying about Spider-Boy. He's not Spider-Man. He's not his own man yet. Even though, you know, he's a millionaire and he's definitely of, of age to, you know, be legal and things. It's just, I don't get that vibe from... Uh, Tom Holland the way I really need to for Nathan Drake now young Nathan Drake sure I, I can get behind that but I'm not behind that idea as a movie and the director saying that it would be really cool and really interesting to do a prequel um, and it would almost saying that it would be better than following one of these great stories that should be on the green uh, the big screen as is um, was just, you know, asinine and just really pretentious because, of course, a director thinks his vision's the best. And God forbid he gives the props to a video game developer who created a great story and then just, you know, copy that. I mean, maybe not copy it uh, line for line, but take the core elements of that story of any one of the, the Uncharted games and put it to the big screen. Um, so I'm glad that director's out as well i'm going to show you some pictures here and i'm going to show you the cast or who is cast for certain roles and yeah you read that right brian cranston if you don't know who brian cranston is um breaking bad um brian cranston will not be sully now i thought that was a great pick for sully uh, it's already been mentioned that he's not he's probably going to play some villain and that brings me a little of excitement. Brian Cranston has a good villain. I can see some of those villains, especially in um, Uncharted 2, that villain, even though he's more um, of a Spanish descent. I can still see Brian Cranston maybe playing a villain like that, just because they have that same look. Um, but let me propose something else. What about the love interests? Uh, Chloe Frazier. Uh, is it so bad that... Um, you know we can have love interests you know uh we have another character too um a female who gets played for that i mean 
you when you make it a kid Nathan Drake, it's just like, ugh, blah and ugh to me, honestly. But we got to get to some more of this news here because um, it's it's kind of disheartening. There's nothing wrong with the voice actors who played these characters in the video games, and um, those voice actors look like the characters. I'm not saying that a voice actor can be a main screen actor. But still, though, can we get people that look like the characters? Can we not make them a child, please? Because the fact is, Uncharted is a, an adult-ish game. It's not necessarily for children, um, to put that in the right context there. Besides the abundance of directors that this game has gone through, the game uh, movie adaptation has gone through even more writers. Now, I'm a fan of writing, um, and I think the storytelling in Uncharted is obviously top notch. Elena Fisher is who uh, Nathan Drake ends up marrying. When you have a story, like it's almost like book adaptations. Uh, some book adaptations follow the book word for word. Some adaptations don't. But those adaptations that don't, they often end up not being exactly the best movie takes. Um, I'm not sure why this video game stuff is so hard for some of these directors who I think I should uh, be directing the movie. I have two options for you. One is John Favreau. Why John Favreau? Because he understands how to set up a uh, series, a franchise. I'm pulling on his first Iron Man. While it may not be the best Iron Man, it set the tone for what would eventually become the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That kind of vision is what's needed in Uncharted. Again, there are no crossover events here. So even if we can contain Iron Man to just its trilogy, it's a great trilogy. It's a good, tr it's a good trilogy. And that's what Sony Productions needs off the jump. They just need a good foot forward, a good show of faith. And if Naughty Dog has anything to do with this, <clears throat> I believe they won't put out trash. However, we just went over the fact that the director just dropped out and the movie release date is, according to IMBD, December 18, 2020. You're telling me you're going to spend a year and three months on Uncharted movie? Are you serious? With no leading ladies and you have young Nathan Drake, no Sully. Uh, you have Brian Cranston there, not released as the villain, but let's just say he's the villain because he's got to have a big role. He's not going to do the movie otherwise. Um, uh, you, you need to introduce that Nathan Drake has a brother. Spoiler alert in Uncharted 4. If he's young Drake, he's going to talk about his brother. He have to. So that's got to be another character. And, okay, let's just say you go with those three because Uncharted is, is frankly, a game that doesn't have many uh characters to start like main characters that you really need to focus on you need to focus on drake and you need to focus on sully so you really only need those two if you're cutting out the love interests i now i'm turning into what i usually turn it into i went on script for the first part of this and i've kind of gone off script because my mind's racing in a thousand places i can't seem to focus on on all this this stuff and i want to give my opinions there the second director i am actually going to suggest is someone way less known than John Favreau and why because I believe someone else should be given a chance for this as well if you're either going to do you know the John Favreau A-list directors or you're going to do um someone uh well well less known and um clearly the directors that you went through the Dan Trechenbergs and the um, oh, Russell's, it, it, they just don't seem to have worked out. So what are we going to do? Well, I say we go with Elia Neshuller. Now, he's known for Hardcore Henry, very niche movie, first person action movie. You see where I'm going with this? Uncharted, third person action game. I think this is someone who could potentially bring something to the table that's new and interesting, um, not exactly copying Marvel. I'm not saying do it in first person. I'm just simply saying he understands action. He, and I, I think he under he could understand video game development and art. If you look at some of his other movies that he's done, I'll post them right here. The guy's talented. So we either have to go all the way to the top for this Uncharted movie or go all the way to the, the bottom, so to speak. And get a director like that these little middling directors um who do mainly television is a lot of what they are known for 
um, you're just not going to get the results you want. Um, so that's kind of about that that Uncharted. Uh, that's kind of all of the news. I'm, I got more and more depressed <laughs> as I did this, as you can tell, and I want to keep it fairly short. So in synopsis, what you need to know about the Uncharted movie, it's coming out December 2020 of next year. It doesn't currently have a director. It's been in development for the better part of 10 years. It has been rewritten and reworked many times by many talented writers. They're doing a prequel. Really, it's kind of based off the um, Uncharted 3 story. I'll show that little quote here. And the directors think that's the way to go. Besides the fact that you can't go any other direction because you already casted Tom Holland. Once you drop Tom Holland from the film, your backers start to back off because Tom Holland's so hot right now and your story has to change. And can you pull off Tom Holland as an older Nathan Drake? Hell to the no. Just like the new idea for who got cast as Batman. You can't change that. And it's just kind of sad, man. I don't want to see a prequel. The only great news uh, that you also need to be aware of is that Sony uh, PlayStation Productions is a thing. And we need this movie to do well because I know the video game um, players are way higher than the comic book readers. So there's no reason that, that the movie won't do well in terms of monetary gain. But the movie needs to be good. And the fact that Naughty Dog can be even associated with this, I know in my heart that it's going to be good. The problem is all the evidence points to something different. So that was Movie Talk for today. I'm GK. Check back for some more content. Shout out to the new subscribers. Um, I got to set a new sub goal because we reached and blasted past our 10. Um, let's go. We're going to shoot for 50 next. I know that's a lot, very ambitious, but I think we can do it. Um, hit the like button, subscribe for more content, throw down in the comments, who do you think should be um, young Nathan Drake, old Nathan Drake, who do you think should be Sully, do you like the idea of Chris Pratt, I sure don't, uh, who do you think should be the director, I know I named two, one very obscure and one, you know, god among boys of directors, but those are the two that I thought could go over decently well. One in terms of name and one in terms of actual craft, taking a perspective story. Um, and do you think that, uh, well, really that's it. Uh, do you agree with some of my points or don't you? Put it down in the comments. I'm GK. Check back later for some more content. I can't wait to do some more movie talk and please, Sony Productions, just scrap everything and start again and drop this whole 2020 uh, release date December when you don't even have a director yet you don't have a story and you don't even have the main characters cast it's ridiculous